A set of daggers made just for him. They would be his guide to finding himself, his focal point. The boy tested them. They felt good, not too heavy, not too light, like an extension of himself. Uncle Ben suggested a few practice swings outside. The daggers sliced the air, guided with an easy grace. His nephew was clearly a natural with the blades and would be ready to join his father and sister in no time. Oh no, I thought this was where he would be unlocked. But the boy's mother had words on that subject. Two of her children were already risking their lives, and she would not have her precious little boy out there as well. Regretfully, he took the daggers away. No, I want to play Who's his own. Who was he to argue with a mother when it involved her child? Let me play as the rogue. Handing over the daggers was like abandoning a part of himself. He was meant for them. Meant to be out there fighting for what was right. He just needed to convince them. I want to be a ninja! Databayo! Whenever Margaret deciphers a tablet, Rhea reveals something new to the Bergsons. Given enough resource, she'll be able to strengthen the family. The Here we go. The mysteries of the world were like open books to the wise, and words from the wise shall benefit man and beast. She can discover ancient knowledge from reliefs in dungeons to help the Bergsons through their journey. Ah. Well, it doesn't look like we can actually put a point into anything just yet. Well, here we go. Increase the efficiency of obelisks. Increase the amount of experience gained. Oh my god, we want that one. Grants a second Divine Relic slot. Increase the rate at which gemstones are dropped. Unlocks runes for various slots. And increases money dropped. So here's the question. Do we want to put some points into the obelisks, which... So far haven't been great. I feel like I might want to put that money into something a little bit... Like in terms of damage instead. Because the thing with obelisks is... It, Maybe one of the ones we find is swiftness. We don't necessarily want to be a little bit quicker when we can have more damage. Don't waste money? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Let's just increase the damage again. Because the quicker we can dispense of those tiny spiders, the better we'll be. The next one's 475. Only 12 more health? No. I'll save my money. On calm days, such as these, Mary enjoyed venturing into the nearby grove. The woodland creatures came out to lend her company. The smallest ate from her basket while she took in the serenity of it all. She's a Disney princess. She knew where it was coming from. Her ancestors had spoken of such corruption flooding down the mountain. But Grandma Margaret wanted to know what it was and what needed to be done to destroy it. And it's going to be interesting to play with her. Cast fireballs on those damn spiders. Anything else we can check out? No, I think that's it. But yet, yeah, increasing the effects of the obelisk is nice. If we could actually guarantee we could see some good ones. Like, I'm assuming there's an increased damage, increased speed. I'm assuming there's an increased damage. Um, but just the probability of finding those, it's better just to increase your base damage anyways. You get more out of it that way. Plus it's expensive as hell. What was it, like 500 475 For that same cost, I could put two points into strength. Maybe late game, when we're looking for places to put our money, but for now, no. 
Now, when we unlock experience, yeah, we're going to put a point into that, but... Not into increasing the duration. That's just wasted capital. I just want to kill him with one shot, that's all I want. Because it's still two every time. It's still taking the two shots. Both the spiders and the bats. I feel like we're close to being able to one-shot him, though. So they're getting down to, like, maybe 10% health after that first hit. Oh, there's a new one. Increases luck. Sure, give me more gemstones. Wait, we didn't fully go left. Ha! Lord, I'm right into the trap inadvertently. I didn't even see it on the ground. Yeah, so far the best thing about the archer is her double dodge. Not having to worry about whether or not I'm out is very helpful. Although what I should be doing is playing her a little bit more strategically and not backtracking because that's burning a lot of my stamina. What I should be doing is just getting to a vantage point, standing still, and just firing away. More like that. Before I take that shield... Wait, there was a chest somewhere, wasn't there? So I have a gemstone now. I could have sworn I saw a chest somewhere. Was it this one up here? No, you're the obelisk. There it is. See, I haven't familiar, familiarized myself with the icons, either. There's John. Another challenge room. At least that's making short work of the enemies. Yeah, our kill count's definitely getting up there. 50? Eh, we hit 50. Good money bonus. Okay, seriously, how many waves are there gonna be? Get them all? Okay. Finally. Crit chance. Bye, John. Leave me to deal with the spiders, like always. 
Couldn't give me some raid, flamethrower, nothing like that, no. Just increase crit chance. Wait, hold on. Green sign. Green sign not do anything? Do I specifically have to kill enemies over top of it? If I see that... Maybe I have to kill an enemy on top of it to turn it red? Like it starts off green, I kill someone over it, it turns red, and it does something? But again, like I said, as soon as I get used to what those signs look like, I'll be able to spot them a little bit easier. But they don't stand out too much right now. They're definitely subtle. Which is kind of a good thing. You don't want things like that to be too blatant. You want to actually reward the player for being observant. Cast two magical stones that spiral outwards from you and damage enemies. Okay, what's the cooldown on this? A minute. Oh. Oh, I definitely won't be using this that often. I would like to at least spot one of those red signs. That way I can just say I found one and I know what to look for. Oh, that actually deals decent damage, too. And it's only there for about 10 seconds. Maybe a little bit less. So save that for when I'm getting just swarmed by enemies. Stonehide. Did not have time to actually read that. You know, like right now would be a great time to use that item if it wasn't on cooldown. Oh my god. Do not kill me again, game. Give me time. Great, more experience if I can actually survive this. Now, go. Oh, that didn't last long. Oh, level up. Free health. Good timing. And a health potion to boot. I feel like there's more enemies up top. Yeah, there's a lot. I need these health potions. There's another one over here. Wait, what? Temporarily become invulnerable, or the Iron High grants you a shield which will protect you from a certain amount of damage. Oh, yeah, I definitely like the Iron Hide more. I don't necessarily see where that shield's at, but apparently it's there. Granny! Not what you're learning How about. How can this be? Is he lost? Muttered Margaret under her breath. Lost in the study of the walls and oblivious to her surroundings.
she always had time for her children, but it was best to leave Grandma to her pursuits now. If I had to guess, I'm assuming this means she's unlocked a new skill we can now put points into at the house. Don't know what that symbol's for. Maybe it's for experience, maybe it's for something else. Probably not experience. That's probably one of the last ones she learns. Would not surprise me. Should probably give us one of the useless ones, though. See, what was there again? There was increased speed, increased health. Increase experience, increase gold. Don't remember what the other obelisk things were. Oh god. Uh, get rid of cooldown, come on. Go. Chew right through him. free ability. What is this? Oh, to stun all nearby enemies. Oh, wait, no, this is a usable thing. Right, I forgot. Charm is, you press down on the D-pad and it activates it. It's a one-time item. It's not a passive. I will die for this Love. dog. Truly a divine emotion, especially during dark days. Love had motivated this mother to lay down her life for her cub. Dude, this is supposed to be a fun game. Don't make me cry. No. I will kill you off for that dog. Get away, get away from her. Get away from her corpse. That is not for you. to try and rouse her from eternal slumber. And it would be love welcoming the new orphan among the Bergsons. Mm -hmm. Let me play as Doggo. Wolf Cub rescued. Let me play as Doggo. I want to be the dog. Just make an entirely different game where you can be the dog. I'm, I am legit kind of worried that the dog's going to be a play, not, not necessarily a playable character, but something you can actually take in the dungeons and could potentially die. I am so worried about that right now. Just, just give me a passive upgrade, like something that I can do when I go back home. Like every night you pet the dog. You pet the dog and you become more rested. And you feel more invigorated for the next day in, in the dungeon. You feel confident for a reason to come back home. You have something to fight for, saving the dog. Apparently you can pet the dog. Nice. I'm sure that that Twitter account's all over this now. Like, there's a Twitter account that tells you whether or not you can pet dogs in games. I mean, you can pet you can pet Cerberus and Hades. Any game where you cannot pet the dog is a game I don't want to play. It's such an easy feature to add. If you're not willing to put that feature in your game, for shame.
Just a little bit more damage is all we need. If we can get that, we can kill those guys with one hit. Oh my god, we have four gemstones. When did that happen? When did we become key rich? Taking these just in case I die. Don't want to leave any money behind. Nope, there's another mother. Kill. Actually, there's two. Freaking hate spider. What's funny is that the spiders are the ones spawning minions of their own. You would think I would like spiders for being able to do that. No. There can only be one who does it, and it's me. That is gimmick infringement. I summon the minions. I control the minions. They work for me. Can't have spiders doing that. Oh, God. You play a game where you are a spider, then you can just birth out thousands of little eggs that turn into thousands of little spiders. Oh, dad, no, 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 nope, nope. That, that idea was a terrible idea to have in my head. Nope. Why did I think of that? Mm-mm. Wait, I think I finally see it. There's a red sign right there. Okay, so if I kill an enemy on top of it, nothing happened. Do semicircles around it. Is this Donkey Kong Country 3? Go, just go around it multiple times and do something? No. Is there a button I'm supposed to press? No. Dodge roll. No. Okay, if that is the red sign, I have no idea how to activate it. Oh, you need living enemies, not skeletons. Well... And I think I've killed all the enemies on this floor. Tired of being called Shady, he instead adopted the title Mysterious Shopkeeper. Hello. There's an entire outpost here. Alright. If this was Spelunky, I would be killing the shopkeep to steal his items. I'm half tempted to see what happens if I shoot him with an arrow. I mean, I'm low on health anyways, what, what do I have to lose? I could spawn a chest. It costs two green thingamajigs, and I don't know... ...where I have those. Where's my... okay, I have th keys! Three keys. Become temporarily invincible. I could spend a gemstone get a little bit of health back. I mean, I got plenty right now. Evade bars recharge faster. Yes. I don't care that I have to waste three keys for that. Create a totem that knocks back enemies. Alright. It's a terrible idea, but I want to see what happens if you shoot the shopkeep. Okay. You can't. Experiment successful. Had to know, just in case he, like, dropped an epic weapon. Maybe he would drop a sweet katana. Alright, maybe... Let's see if we can't find at least one living enemy. Because if we do, we can maybe bring him back here... Bring up, wait, where is it? N now I've lost the red sign. Okay, no skeletons. Those don't work. Anyone left alive? Wait, there, there's one path we have not explored. I'll have to kite them all the way back to the exit. 
but just so I can see what happens. Oh, wow, we almost the completely skipped an item room. With energies coiled and ready to let loose. So increased dodge chance, increased dodge cooldown. Good build, good synergy. Yeah, there's no one left alive. So, so much for finding out what happens if you get a kill over top of that. Oh, that was hidden really hard. But so much for finding out what happens if you kill someone over a red sign. I wanted to know. Wait a minute, this is floor three, isn't it? So boss time again? Second chance to get the spider boss? Oh yeah, they're giving me plenty of health. They're prepping me. Alright, thankfully I do have that orbiting ball though. All eight eyes studied the one so willing to walk into their own tomb. Enter my chamber, said the spider to the fly. No! Why, game? Why? Why did you not let me just hit him immediately? Okay. I'm slightly getting the timing on that. A little bit better. As soon as I say that. He's actually fairly squishy. He doesn't have too much health. And it seems like every time he will come at you and then go back to the top. Or at least not yet he hasn't tried to double. A double pound. Which is good. So now I know it's more or less just, as soon as he goes back upwards, prepare to dodge. Yeah, don't look for the shadow, that's just gonna get you killed. Give it about a second after he goes upwards. And then dodge. Oh, I need more health. Get on, get on. Now he's vulnerable. Get him. He's almost dead. A few more hits is all it takes. You're going down, spider! The creature howled in anguish as death slowly beckoned to bestow money, money, its money, money, peace. Money. Now I'm hopeful that means we don't ever have to worry about the spider ever again. Please be dead for good. The Bergson could go no further. The path blocked. The life crystal, as if filled to the brim with life, started to pulse. A way had opened, a step closer to the spirit at the heart of the caves. Though before taking that step, caution dictated a return to home to inform the family of the newfound passage. Boss killed. Please don't ever have me do that again. No more spiders. Wolf Cub rescued, and we found a manuscript. Worried for the missing boy, Ben thought that maybe he should have hidden the daggers better. Yeah.
Margaret, in her wisdom, knew that nothing would have remained hidden from Kevin forever. Now, she only encouraged her son and his daughter to hurry and find him. You gonna let me play as Kevin now? That sounds like they found him. Kevin returned from his saga with barely a scratch, yet he found no appreciation from his family, especially his father. Despite having Linda on his side, his father was still mad at him for endangering himself and worrying them all, including his pregnant mother. His favorite line, asking how he could be so inconsiderate. Look at all that money. He wondered whether Uncle Ben would understand his bravery and initiative better. With his heroic act unrecognized, the young boy waited, frustrated, expecting more punishment. What Kevin had not expected was his parents' reaction. Heartened by his courage, his father was going to teach him the ways of battle, and his mother was far from the frail and always worried housewife she had seemed. A Berkson through and through, she gave him her blessing and asked only that he temper his courage with caution. Perhaps Uncle Ben was the happiest of them all. Not only had his nephew held his own in combat, but had done so with the weapons he had made for him. Kevin only wished his older brother Mark was there to witness his rise to the family calling. Oh, he looks so fun to play. Look at those movements. Defeated, the Spider King had been removed from the path leading to the halls of Anaya Daya. Although the pestering of greedy goblins might still prove dangerous along the way. Uncle Ben was pointing out possible routes forward, speaking of the troubles pilgrims had run into in the lost trenches. So it sounds like goblins are our next enemy. That's fine. I prefer goblins over spiders. Oh no! Although in the safety of the Bergson's house, the young cub was not yet free from danger. Exhaustion racked the animal's body, its chest heaving for even the smallest of breaths. No! The family believed several plants found deep in the nearby caves, combined together, could serve to remedy the situation. They're gonna make me go in the spider cave to save the dog. Aren't they? They're gonna make me go in the spider cave to get some sort of antitoxin to save the dog. And I'm gonna have to fight the spider boss again. Son, no. You know what? The dog's worth it. If I have to do it, I'll do it. But I won't be happy about it. Margaret knew full well that signs and symbols were seldom obvious and never direct. She was certain that the cause of the corruption would be difficult to discover. I will do it for the dog. Alright, what did we... Oh, we didn't unlock anything. I could have sworn that after she read that other thing, we would have unlocked one of these other abilities. I guess not. And I'm not spending 475 for that. That's a waste. Workshop, however. More damage? More damage. Almost can afford another level. Almost. We're going to save our money again. Yeah, we're going to save our money again so we can get one more point into that. Yeah, 
Nothing else to do. All right, so I guess now we have quests. Drowned in the blood-soaked muck of these trenches with a path to the halls of Anaidaia. Before we do that, I saw a little icon back at the house. What is this up here? Home status. Kevin's now available in the character select. Precision upgrade is unlocked. That's at the workshop, wasn't it? That was the crit chance? Yeah, crit chance. So this is just a recap of what you've unlocked. Whenever Margaret deciphers a tablet, Rhea does reveals something new to the Bergsons. I could have sworn that after that second thing she read, she would have unlocked one more of these. Huh. Whatever. Not going to concern myself too much with it. So the nearby caves are supposed to have something for the dog. That makes it sound like I need to go back to the silk caverns. So we'll do this. We'll do this with Kevin on the off chance that we can find something to heal the dog. But first, level up this. Increase damage. And a point into this one as well. Alright, now we can play as Kevin. Kevin? I just have to hope that it's not a probability type thing that it will drop. Whatever type of antitoxins in here, hopefully we can find it on our first attempt. And we don't have to do it multiple times. Kevin is quick and stealthy. With each hit he stacks frenzy. The more frenzy he has, the quicker his attacks become. And he has triple dodge. Yes! That alone might make him my favorite character. Oh, he's very close range, though. On the bright side, though, his stamina doesn't decrease the more he attacks, so unlike the archer, I don't have to worry about that. I can continue to attack and walk backwards. Okay, so he is a little bit dangerous to play, though. Because you don't immediately dodge when you press dodge. There's a little bit of a delay. So I can't go into attack mode and then immediately dodge out of the way. Even faster. Turn him into a machine gun. Okay, I'm really liking this character so far. Love the quick strikes. Love it. We're going to definitely have to upgrade his health, though. Because as it is right now, he's going to die quickly. This close-range mechanic... He won't be long for the world. There's a reason his parents are, are worried for him. He's a dangerous fighter. Terrible fighting style. Everyone was encouraged to take part in a game of destiny. A prize awaited the fortuitous, but there was only pain for the unfortunate. So like last time, choose the right order? Although these are different symbols. This is a brain thing. Is there any sort of secret to determine which one to press? Like, I'm looking for reflections I might see. Because this one seems like more of a thinking puzzle than a memory puzzle. What about the corpses scattered around? Are they any sort of clue? Uh, just try our luck, I guess. Oh, first try. Speaking of lucky. 
Nice. Restore a portion of your... So, pretty much a potion on tap. We can use it whenever. So, if there was some sort of puzzle involved with that one, I have no idea, but I got lucky and I'm not gonna complain. Yep, I'm, I'm a fan of this character far more than the Archer. He fits my playstyle. If we could get him to be a little bit, like, more mid-range, give him a little bit more distance, I'd be more happy. But I'll take him for what he is right now. And he's got the AoE, so, or not really AoE, but he's got some reach with his attack, so he's able to hit multiple enemies at once, as opposed to the Archer, who could only hit one spider at a time. He can hit multiples. So in that regard, he's better. Alright, we got two skill points. One in each. Successful attacks stacked together, sending Kevin into a focused frenzy, increasing attack speed. I thought we already had that. I thought that was part of his attack. And then releases a flurry of knives in all directions around him. Good crowd control. Don't know how much damage they do. Let's try that again. So it looks like 30 something damage. So no multiplier, no reduced damage. It's the same as a normal attack. Just spread out. Oh, really? Already at the exit? Not ready? Because we need that potion for the dog. A companion that stuns enemies! We got ourselves a minion! We got our minion! Oh, look at that bouncing ball. Yes! I mentioned this before. I don't know which, which game I played recently, but I mentioned every single roguelike has a minion mechanic. Even ones you don't think have minions have minions. Neon Abyss had hundreds of minions that would follow you all the time. Binding of Isaac has those things, those followers that go around you. Even Spelunky has those weird little things that no one uses, those uh, helpers. Okay, so I saw a red sign up here. The downside is that I don't know if there's a way to bring an enemy up here with this minion following me around. Because that's going to kill the guys before I can lure them up here. So yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to see that in this run either. But yeah, almost every single roguelike has a minion in some way, shape, or form. Like, can I bring the... Nope, not, didn't work that way. Yes, little minion, do your work. Do thine bidding. Kill the bats. Oh no, up, up here, bat. I, I want to bring you up here to sacrifice you over the red sign. Come on, over here. Right, come on, make it. Okay, so my minion's actually not killing the enemies, it's just stunning them. Which, you know what, that's fine. For what I'm trying to do right now, that's perfect. No, over here. You're, you're so close. So close to the red sign. We're almost at our goal. A few feet away. Come on, right here. Nope. Right here. Come on. And that didn't do a thing. I feel like the blood scattered slightly off. So if we needed actual blood to fall on that thing, 
That is incredibly difficult to accomplish. Alright, let's try it again. The spider's a little bit quicker. We might be able to have a better chance doing it this way. Come on. Up here. I need your blood. Just, just a little bit of it. I don't need the entire thing. Right here. And he didn't have, even have blood. It was just green. It was just poison. So, you know what? Screw it. Unless I can find a way to get... Like a bunch of enemies near one of those things, I'm not going to waste my time trying. I don't even know what the reward is for doing that. I might even be doing it wrong anyways. I have no idea how it works. Alright, next floor. Yeah, we explored everywhere. Kind of hoping that floor one would have what we were looking for. Wait, it says there's a potion in this room. Where? Isn't that what that red thing means? No, red thing means teleporter. It's a red crystal, not a red potion. Yes, minion put in work. Stun them all. Help your master. Gee, I mentioned earlier when I was first introducing the game, they're actually working on a paid DLC for this game to re release later this year, which is supposed to add a new chapter. With all these various puddles that I'm seeing on the different caverns, I'm curious whether or not they're going to add something like a new mechanic like fishing. It seems like they're prepping or preparing for something like that in this game, some sort of mechanic. Maybe not even a fishing thing, maybe something where you could dive into the water to find treasure, but... It just seems like they keep throwing those puddles everywhere, like there's gonna be a purpose of them later on. They're just setting the foundation for them to have some sort of purpose. And who knows, maybe it's just the caverns. Maybe in other areas or other zones they won't have that. For those seeking refuge, one problem simply replaced another. Though he was relieved to see family, Uncle Ben's first thought was of scavenging the things he needed to repair the ramshackle wagon. Well, there's a living alpaca llama. We saw his kin dead earlier. Where is this supposed to be located? Because normally, like, the Himalayas would be where you would find alpacas and llamas. This doesn't seem like a wintry area. I mean, we're off in a, in a uh, forest. I don't think that llamas typically habitate forests. Could be wrong. I mean, I don't necessarily know a lot about them. But I feel like they prefer colder climates. Oh my god, this little minion is great for this character. He stuns him, I get him close, and I kill him. Small chance to recover health when attacking with considering how fast he attacks. I can be back to full health in no time. And a level up. Such a good character. Such good synergy. Such good luck.
I could see this character being OP. I still don't know how the archer could end up being OP. I could see this guy being OP, though. Granny. Oh, that one's broken. The origin of the threat of corruption was what occupied most of Grandma's time lately. Is that a tiger? Th that no, it's a lion. It's a lion-headed angel. Oh, what? Whatever aliens are around here are weird. Worshipping a lion. A lion angel. Like I said, with these fast strikes, he's going to be back to full health in no time. And getting the timing down on the dodges is really going to be helpful for him, too. That's the end of the level, which means time for the boss. But we didn't find the thing to cure the dog, unless the boss will drop it. And we got no gemstones either, so we can't really buy anything. Throw a trap, shoot a missile that grows larger with time. Call forth a sword of the divine to damage enemies. So turn him into a paladin. Increase damage. But again, we can't buy anything. I would have loved to have had that. Alright. Explore a little bit more just in case we can find the potion to heal the dog. Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. Wait, what was that up there? There was I saw an item. I saw something we could pick up. That big that big spider's just shooting at me from afar. Just taking away my health. Okay, what is in here? I saw something. That might be the thing we needed. Grab it. Quest item found. Wood. Wait, wood? Wood is not how we're going to heal the dog of poison. He's got a big old spider bite. He's got ant He's got venom coursing through his veins. Wood is not going to help. And I've used up my potion, so i got no way other to heal. Unless there's a potion in this chest. Nothing. Come on. Passive hill, do your work. Run, get out of there. I feel like my minion just stopped attacking. Stopped stunning. Someone's speaking of sun, I think someone stunned me there. And we're dead. Well, we got a quest item, not necessarily one we were looking for. Hopefully that is somehow going to cure the dog. Maybe we needed wood to cook up a cure. 
As the conversation turned to the progress of the corruption, Mary was curious to know which village had been attacked this time. However, that worry gave way to panic when Lucy entered. No. Poor beasts, all slaughtered. Maybe something had infected them. The corruption was on their doorstep now. Wait. Did we unlock anything? Oh, we did not. But we do have enough money where we can put another point into damage. Hopefully this will be enough to kill spiders in one. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Also, more health because Kevin needs it desperately. Alright, hopefully that'll increase his survivability a little bit. Where, where is the dog, speaking of? So there's some kind of chicken right there. Wait, is that chicken wearing a, a jacket? Or a coat? That jack that chicken is definitely wearing clothes. A vest. He's wearing a vest. Okay, well, I mean, I guess it might be cold out here. There are alpacas. It could be that type of... Even though everything is green and lush. Huh. So I love the aesthetic of this. There's so much to look at. And it seems like everyone is doing something. Beautiful looking game. There's a fo uh, might be either a phoenix. F that might be a fennec fox. No, fennec foxes are normally orange, aren't they? They're cooking. Huh. All right. Anyways, next level. Try that again, because I feel like the antitoxin is going to be down there. We want to cure the dog. That's our main goal right now. We could explore the different region. Which, honestly, is probably what we should be doing. But I want to I want to cure the dog. Are fennec... No, fennec foxes are white, aren't they? See, now I don't know. So I feel like Finnick Foxes are also kind of uh, in colder climates as well. But we lost our minion! Oh, I was enjoying having him. Being able to stun enemies, go in for the kill. Do we have any skill points anyways? No, we have one skill point. We can't afford anything. What is the next tier, anyways? Um, send Kevin in the shadows, vanishing from sight, and allowing him to move around unhindered. Chance to instantly kill weaker enemies on the following attack. So, a strike from shadows. Unleash Kevin's rage to send him into an ultimate frenzy. I would like to rage. A little kid like that raging, though, doesn't make... Um, well... Seeing kids throw some pretty big tantrums. Temporarily become invulnerable. A not so innocent game of chance and memory. Here we go with this one again. It wouldn't be the same as last time, would it? 4 3 2 1? No. Didn't think we were that lucky. Alright, it seems like one more point into attack will be just enough to kill these guys in one. <laughs> so it's not 4 3 2 1, but it could be 1 2 3 4. 
one three one three two four. Now we weren't we may not have been getting experience, but at least we got money out of that. Damages enemies on contact. Nice. I mean it works well for this character who's up close and personal. Yeah, just walk through enemies, we can damage them. Oh, that works well. That works very well. Yeah, lure as many enemies as I can into that thing and explode. Yeah, Brambles works great with Kevin. More abilities like that, please. Like, give me something like an aura that just rotates around them, just right up close. Ability. Wait, hold, I don't even get. I can't even read that. Okay. Decrease something. Decrease gemstone. Drop. Wait, why would I want to decrease gemstone? But increase more of drop. Okay, so less gemstones, more money. Which do I want more of? Yeah, I'll take more money because I can probably see more of those anyways. I don't mind not getting gemstones this run. Because they were rare enough as it was. Decreasing their probability doesn't change too much. So it does like a 1.5 multiplier on money. I'd be better off that way. Yeah, like pulsing damage. Give me like a permanent pulsing damage on Helm. In the center, an object touched by the gods. Temporary shield that absorbs all damage received explodes when it expires, dealing the damage. Alright, there's a portion we haven't fully explored yet. Because again, we might need to find the potion for the dog. I mean, we're just wasting this explosion right now. <laughs> we didn't get a single thing out of exploring. That was a waste. Maybe had we had a gemstone, we could have opened that one chest, but nope. So we're just flat out invulnerable. It's not like it's a shield that reduces damage or reduces damage from a direction. That's just full invulnerability. Good for when I'm getting swarmed.
like right now would be a great time to use it if it wasn't on cooldown. No. Yeah, those little purple things he keeps spawning stun ya. There we go. Yes. That's an ult right there. Oh, we have a key. Money, money, money. So, increased luck stacked with increased gold. We should be able to buy quite a few things when we go back to the house. I mean, we, we decreased the, the chance that gemstones are spawning, and yet, we're still finding quite a few. We're not up to four like that last run, but still. A decent amount. That's a good explosion for this guy. Nope. I feel like he's like throwing that poison. Or acid or whatever. Wait, hold on. Door, door, which door to take? Oh, that might be it. That might be the thing we needed to cure the poison. Is this it? The generous mushroom was vital to any concoction with the purpose of healing. While naturally poisonous, any skilled brewmaker could extract the important properties without danger. Did he say a voo maker? Steps were taken without regret, for it was never possible to change a destiny unknown. So we got lucky last time, choosing option number three, and it got, it, got us the item. Very much doubt we're going to get lucky again, so... One? No. Now, is it... Yes, it, that's what I was afraid of. It's going to lock us out. If you don't get it in one, there goes the item. Right? There's no way to try again? No. So the memory game, you can keep trying. That's a 33% chance. But again, it feels like there's some sort of solution that you can discover there somehow. Maybe based on the number of bodies flo uh, uh, slown about. Maybe based on... Because I, I looked at the reflection, I didn't see anything. But there's got to be something to help you figure out what it is. Which button to press. I mean, it's, it, is a, it is a roguelike, so the, the whole thing about random and randomly generated could be it. I mean, it could just be a random chance. Maybe there is no s set solution. Maybe it is random. Don't know. I'll wait to use that. Instantly heals. Not that low on health.
Maybe before I go to the next floor. Yeah, we're getting a lot of money this run. Like, is there any way to see what we're up to now? They exhaled softly. A blessing from the gods. Turn a, po a portion of your health into a health potion charm. I don't know what a health potion charm is. Or a temporary shield that absorbs all damage received. I think I prefer my shield thing. That's good for dealing with a lot of enemies. Plus, I got this thing right here that's going to heal me, so... Don't necessarily need something to heal. One... Actually, you know what? We're going to just use this now, that way we're not walking back. So I don't feel like necessarily backtracking. You look suspicious. And there be the exit. Wait, wasn't the exit on the... No, exit wasn't on the right side. Great, another shop. I got no money. I can't afford a thing. And I got plenty of gold to go back to the, sh to the house, but nothing in terms of gemstones. Alright, boss fight, but at least we got the anti-venom, so even if we die, we're good. I'm not too concerned. Right, we're at full health. We don't need a potion. All eight All right, eyes round three. studied the one. We're currently one for one. We're tied. Walk into their own tomb. You stupid bloody spider. Oh, we're just making short work of him now. Dude, Kevin OP. Look at this. What took us like 10 minutes with the archer, we just dealt in 30 seconds with the rogue. Kevin OP. He's the character to play. Now let's go fix up the dog.